first tonight, it was first reported as inappropriate touching in a camper's bunk at Cran Hill Ranch, a popular Christian camp near Big Rapids. Tonight, the accused counselor was in court charged with two counts of sexual assault involving one teenage boy. But as 24-hour news aides Ken Colker found out, the details go beyond what was first reported, Ken. Yeah, Brian, today we learned the alleged assault was far more than an inappropriate touch in a camp bunk bed. The boy, who's between 13 and 15 years old, told police he believed the counselor was about to rape him. He says it started when he woke in the middle of the night to find Neely in his bunk, touching him inappropriately. The boy told them that Neely then led him to a nearby room accessible only to counselors, that Neely knelt him down and knelt down behind him. He said he felt the counselor touch him, feared he was about to be raped, then ran to his room. He then told camp leaders who immediately called police and fired Neely. The 24-year-old counselor from Muncie, Indiana told detectives he was a sleepwalker. That's also what he told a fellow counselor two weeks earlier when two campers, also boys, found him in their bunks. Camp leaders and the sheriff say that should have been brought to their attention. We weren't aware of that. I, you know, the uh, camp counselors probably should have uh, made some other people aware of the situation, but I wasn't there at that time, so I, I can't, I can't second guess for Monday morning quarterback. Neely, who started working at Cran Hill this summer, denied the allegations in an interview earlier with 24 Hour News 8. The sheriff says there was nothing else the camp could have done. It checked his criminal record and found he had none. The sheriff says that since the allegations, the camp has reached out to other campers who worked with Neely, but found no other potential victims. If you have those tendencies to be that type of a person, uh, a camp full of kids is a, is a good place to be. Now the sheriff says he wasn't aware that Neely listed on Facebook that he recently worked at a residential program for kids in Muncie, Indiana. Police in Muncie, Indiana said they also didn't know that, though they said they planned to check into it. We reached out several times to that program in Muncie, but haven't heard back. Now Neely is being held in jail on a $75,000 bond. If convicted, he faces up to 15 years in prison.